Good day fellow investors, I recently went to the shop to buy a new phone, the lady there showed me what is there is to buy to the Apple store in Amsterdam to see a little bit what it is because I'm expanding into new social medias, IGTV, Facebook, so I want to just test a new phone and I came there and then she asked what do you do? I said I do videos, I have a YouTube channel about what, finances, investing, oh 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 she said I look at, looked at that, I looked at a few videos, uh, Tesla is the best stock to buy and this made me smile, okay I said okay probably 99% bankruptcy, 1% huge success, no 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 Tesla will, it's so good, it's so good and all the guys here in the Apple store were crazy about cryptocurrencies six months ago but I prefer more about Buffett so she was smart, she knows how to, she got the real way to invest but this made me smile so much because there is an old saying with Wall Street that I want to share today. It goes like this from Joe Kennedy, when the shoe shine boys have tips, the stock market is too popular for its own good. Further, Bernard Baruch, a great investor in the past, has this quote, taxi drivers told you what to buy, the shoe shine boy could give you a summary of the day's financial news as he worked with rag and polish. An old beggar who regularly patrolled the street in front of my office now gave me tips and, I suppose, spent the money I and others gave him in the market. My cook had a brokerage account and followed the ticker closely. Her paper profits were quickly blown away in the gale of 1929. So when everybody started to speak stocks, then you know what to do. When everybody started speaking cryptocurrencies, I think my father asked me somewhere in November, oh, we, what cryptocurrency should buy? My brother also called me somewhere there, should, you should invest in crypto, you should invest in crypto. And when it gets to everybody, someone that doesn't invest in nothing, like the lady there selling me investing in Tesla now, it means, okay, it is f from history, from Wall Street experience, it is a big, big sell signal. We'll see how much this Robin Hood explosion of investment um, accounts, everybody investing in stocks, everybody trying to make money in stocks, we'll see for how much it will last, but the selling signal Wall Street usually looks at with shoeshine boys has started to flash. I also found a great article on Fortune discussing what Shoe shines boys were talking in 1996 and I'll put the link in the description below. However, 1996 was not yet that hot because they didn't find many shoe shine talks around as they went around in the public. However, 1999, 2000, everybody was crazy about internet stocks and the market doubled from 1996 to 1999, 2000. So 1999 internet stocks, we had the dot-com bubble. In 2007, everybody was flipping houses, taking loans to buy houses. We had the subprime crisis. Where are we now? Are we there yet? We have had a lot of cryptocurrency stock talks up till December. Now with the volatility with crypto going down the drain, it is much, much, a little bit more silent. So we'll see how it will end, will people continue to buy or perhaps now everybody is just investing in index funds, those are doing good, those did 20% last year and that's perhaps what the shoeshine boy, boy is talking about. We'll see, I'm looking forward to your comments, a little bit different news today but so important. See you in the next video.